Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Untold Story in Secrets of Rome. Now, in this episode, we'd like to talk about the story of Beatrice Cenci. And Beatrice Cenci's story will be a sad one indeed. Beatrice Cenci's story is a sad one indeed, as she loses her mother at a young age. She was nothing more but a child when her mother passed away. Then Beatrice Cenci was given to the nuns uh, to be raised until the age of 15. When she returns home though, she finds a very, very unpleasant environment, a violent environment, as her father, a drunk man, was constantly abusing of a young Beatrice Cenci. So with the help of her older brothers, Giacomo and Bernardo, she decides to devise a plan to get rid of the abusive father. So a night at dinner, at a villa, at the family's property, away from Rome, they decide to slip the father some opium. As Francesco, the father of Beatrice Cenci, falls in a deep slumber, with a hammer, they decide to hammer the father's skull in. To make it look like an accident, they throw the father's body over a balcony. Though the coroner's report the day afterwards would say that the cause of death was not for a fall, but for poisoning. So Beatrice Cenci and her older brothers, too as well, Giacomo and Bernardo, were sent to prison in Rome on Via Monserrato on this street right here. Beatrice Cenci and her older brothers were incarcerated at Palazzo Savelli, Via Monserrato. They were tortured on a daily basis until they pleaded guilty. Giacomo and Bernardo, the older brothers of Beatrice, were executed before Beatrice was. On the 11th of September in the year 1599, Beatrice Cenci, accused of patricide, was dragged in chains right in front of Castel Sant'Angelo and executed in front of a giant crowd. Her execution was to be beheaded by the sword. On the day of the beheading of Beatrice Cenci, right in front of Castel Sant'Angelo, the crowd that gathered around that day was so impressive that people started falling in the Tiber River and drowning. Amongst the crowd itself, there was nothing more but a young Caravaggio who wanted to witness the scene of the beheading of a young Beatrice Cenci. The incarceration of Beatrice Cenci became a symbol to protect anybody unjustly incarcerated today. We've concluded our story of Beatrice Cenci. On this episode as well, we'd also like to talk to you guys about a very interesting particular character of Rome, a man called Gian Battista Bugatti, or otherwise known as Mastro Tita. We arrive at the beginning of the 1800s when Mastro Tita joins the police force of Rome at a young age, at the age of 17. He was to take the spot of the executioner of Rome, who actually was an elder man and was ready to retire. Mastro Tita finds his proficient of life because actually at becoming the new executioner of Rome, he was actually quite good. In his own personal handbook, he notes down 500 successful executions and he retires at the venerable age of the age of 68. So the condemned to death at Castel Sant'Angelo had to be executed on the east bank of the Tiber River as there was a papal law that did not allow executions to occur on the west bank of the Tiber River. That's exactly where St. Peter's in the Vatican is today. In the personal handwritten diary of Mastro Tita, we have over 500 carefully detailed executions. Depending on the crime of the condemned to death, if it was for attempted homicide, it was hanging. 
If it was crimes against the church, it was beheadings. If it was both, it was beaten to death and drawn and quartered. The Masutita, after all, did have a human side because at his prisoners and his condemned to death, he did always offer a glass of wine and a last smoke if they desired so. Masatita will retire at the age of 68. After 50 years of a career, he'll be obligated to retire in his hometown of Sinigalia, away from Rome. That's because we enter a different era. In the 1870s, we have the unification of Italy that puts an end to papal domain over Rome. Thank you for joining us on our Untold Stories of Rome. If you like what you hear, please subscribe to our channel, leave us a like and a comment, and uh, till next time, ciao.